everybody, how's it going? Motor motion back again. Um, sorry, I haven't made a vlog in a little while now. Um, to be honest, with you, I just <laughs> I haven't had the chance. I uh, I haven't been out on the bike a whole uh, deal recently. Uh, and when I have, it's been pissing it down. And uh, I don't normally like doing vlogs when it's raining. I'd like to keep my eye on the ball, if you know what I mean, keep my attention on the road. It's pay a lot more care when it's raining. Um, basically, what I wanted to speak about today was um, a bit of a rant video. Uh, speak about my little bit of a love-hate relationship I've got with Icon Gear. As you know, uh, well, most of you know anyway, I. I use the classic vloggers helmet icon variant and um, I had a bit of a problem with it the other day I come to take the visor off to clean it and one of the screws had seized in and I uh, I come to get the screw out and straight away the head of the screw had rounded off and don't ask me why why they would be possessed to do this but the screws uh, that they hold the visors on with on these they make them out of soft aluminium oh, I mean even for aluminium it is soft and the second you try and do anything it just gnarls up and rounds off and it's terrible so in the end, I ended up having to um, get a pair of mole grips on the screw and uh, like try and twist it out. And in the process of doing that, I managed, there's a little gluing nut in the side of the helmet and I managed to crack that out at the same bleeding time. So what I've ended up having to do was I've got a little M6 nut and I've took the visor uh, plate off that it clips onto and I've ground the edges of the nut down and I've popped the nut into the hole in the side of the helmet where the original nut went and then I've got some like resin, like owl dyes and that and then I, I've glued the new nut in the place where the old one was and then I've, I've got some stainless steel bolts allen head bolts and I've used them to hold the visor on with so now I'll never have another one seize up on me because the problem was because they do shit all your million through the winter where the rain and the salt and everything had got in there it had oxidised and it had seized to the to the brass nut that was in the side of the helmet so then I couldn't get it out but I don't understand it it's stupid why would you use aluminium bolts on a £270 helmet it's stupid because you think about it Oh, if you go on eBay, you can get, I mean this isn't retail prices, the prices we would pay, you can get a pack of 10 M6 bolts, stainless steel ones, for a pound, you need two, you need two for a helmet, so that's 20p per helmet, 20p on top of 270 pounds, when you, I mean, what's that really? I mean, and that's at retail prices. They would get them trade. I mean, they'd probably pay about a penny a bolt or less. So it'd probably cost them about 2p per helmet. So I don't understand why they wouldn't just put good nuts and bolts in it from factory. It just makes sense. But I know it's ridiculous. I, mean, I haven't... I'd say I've been in a love-hate relationship because, I mean, in general, the helmet is put, to get, put together brilliantly. It's not, 
nice quality. It's the comfiest helmet I've ever had. The Lino is beautiful. And I really like Icon's design. They seem to be a lot different from all the competition out there. Like with the jackets and the helmets and everything. They just they seem to use different desi design strategies than all the other brands do. Because everyone else seems to follow the same trend. They seem to try and stand out a little bit. But I don't know, it's kind of... They let themselves down a little bit in certain areas. It's like, the only other issue I've had is I've got two major faults with the helmet. One is them screws, like I've just explained to you. And the other one is, the, uh, on the box when you buy the helmet, they state that the visor is an anti-scratch visor. But, what they don't tell you is that it's only anti-scratch on the outside. So whenever you're cleaning the helmet, bear in mind I use a professional cleaning kit. I've not spent like £30 on this helmet cleaning kit. You get all different cleaners and the proper cloths and everything. And um, whenever you clean the inside of it, you get these tiny little micro swall scratches all over the inside like you see in the paintwork on cars but yeah, it only happens on the inside you can be as rough as you like with the outside it don't scratch but the inside it's terrible so I mean I've just had to go and buy a new visor because it was ruined I've, uh, now that as you can see the weather's got a lot nicer as soon as the sun hits it it was making all the scratches glare and it was getting me right in the bloody eyes so I've had to buy another visor so that's I've had the helmet six months and so far I'm on, I'm on to my third visor I think it is so yeah they are they're good but they're not without their faults I suppose it's like any brand really as far as nothing comes out of its faults another minor complaint I have but this one is minor because you only need it occasionally is there's no quick release on the visor every helmet I've had previous is it's had a little it's a visor where you just have a little button on the side press the button pop pop visors off clip the new one in drops a good one whereas this one as, you, as I've explained to you it's all screws so it, it takes you about 10 minutes to do a visor change rather than about 30 seconds. So it's just little things you have to you have to remember when you're buying one. But yeah, a little rant video. I mean, I, I, I'll still buy the gear because I do I do love their designs. A bit different from the crowd. But yeah, that's about it for today guys, I'm going to go and enjoy the beautiful British spring, it seems to have finally turned up a bit late, but yeah, red bomb, <laughs> alright then guys, I'll catch you later, take it easy, murder motion, sign out.